This is my friend Lorraine, and she is my one. There's a process before you get diagnosed, and that's, you know, you go to your doctor, they tell you to go to get a biopsy and things like that, and throughout that process, because I was young, they were like, oh, it's probably nothing. So there's constantly this like, oh, it's probably nothing. So um, with that in mind, uh, I went to a professional conference, actually with Brooke. Um, it was the Medical Library Association conference in Seattle. And so I wasn't really worried at the time because I had been reinforced, like, nothing's going to happen, it'll be fine. And so we were, it was the first day there in Seattle, and we were actually on um, the pier, that famous pier, uh, going around doing touristy things because we had time. And so I got a call from my gynecologist, and, you know, it's a busy place. So I'm like, okay, hey, what's going on? And... Uh, she told me over the phone, they got the results, and that uh, I have uh, breast cancer. So I hung up the phone with her, and I just sat on some stairs, and I, I started to cry. <laughs> and um, because you don't expect it to happen to you at age 30. For me, when I saw her crying, I knew something was wrong, and I knew she was expecting a phone call from her doctor. So. Um, Immediately, I thought the worst, um, but I tried to like hold it together because I didn't want to be an added stress to her. So I just, um, you know, I listened. Um, we tried to find a place that was not crowded. There were, I mean, <laughs> there were people talking about, oh, the plants are so beautiful. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my friend needs space, you know. And so, um, yeah, it was, it was kind of a shock for me also because She's 30, and then I'm, you know, thinking this is not something that people my age should be getting, but they are. Knowing Lorraine, she is one of the sweetest people you would ever meet in your entire life. Um, she's so positive, and so I just tried to, you know, exude positivity to kind of help her. Um, but it was hard, because we didn't know. So even though we were coworkers, I, she's more of a friend to me than just a coworker. So I was, I was concerned for her in that respect. I, I felt I, a lot of like shame for not being able to do my job because uh, for me, uh, after each treatment of chemo, like I was out for like a week uh, in different ways, and and I just felt so much like guilt and shame about that like I I don't know I guess I'm I'm like an achiever I like to finish what I started and and not being able to do that was a, a, a struggle for me Susan Coleman is definitely one of those kind of champions in this field of, of really advancing breast cancer research and support but the women who've gone through this um, experience are are like a cheerleading team because uh, they all they they understand what it is to, to experience that kind of thing and they they want to be supportive. So actually the first event I went to uh, related to, to Susan Komen was a, a walk that um, my dear friend Lindsay invited to me, me to and it was uh, about um, it was actually right before my last surgery, I would say. So it was like the end of my my journey. It was like I could see the beginning of the end. So, uh, and I, I'm so grateful for her um, inviting me to that and keeping me connected to this, you know, team of thousands of people who are really thinking about this because uh, sometimes you feel alone in this process, like uh, like no one understands, but walking with women who have this experience like uh, is a real blessing to, to, to know that you're not alone. Yeah, it was just a, a beautiful end to uh, a, a really hard struggle. Because we were co-workers as well, I was trying really hard to be strong and it's okay to not be okay, you know? Um, even if you aren't, you're trying to be supportive of someone. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to act. I know all of the emotions that I, you know, when I was not in the room with her, I was crying. And it's okay to cry together, I guess, um, because we did kind of grow to be kind of like family. 
like worst case scenarios popped into my head and I just thought I don't I don't know what I would do without this person at that point in my life and now thinking back I have no idea what I, I don't want to imagine a life without Lorraine she is so amazing and it just really sucked that she got that you know cancer sucks um, it sucks for the people that are going through it and it sucks for the people that are with them experiencing it. Breast, Breast cancer, cancer is, is unacceptable. unacceptable.